You've invited us all here to hear and witness your covenant and promises and to make our own pledges to you as a couple as well. Today, you are publicly choosing each other above any other. Over the years that you have been together, you have found out that you are better together than you are apart. So we met both working at uh, Ross Dress for Less. And we were actually friends for a year. Yes, I was the security in the back uh, with the little loss prevention vest. <laughs> and she was the front end cashier that ran all the stuff. So we tend to talk to each other a bunch on the radio. Yeah, but we actually used to leave each other mean little note cards in our lockers and we would just kind of go back and forth whenever we were at work. But one of the favorite things she loved to do was call me on the work phone and then wait for me to pick up and then just a laugh on it and then hang up on me oh. and just laugh 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 um, every time she did it and then he finally was just like I have to ask you a question and I was like what's up and he said do you date white guys and I was just like I really don't have a preference it's just based on how you treat me and he was like well I've been liking you for a year I just didn't know you know I am interested in you would you want to go on a date with me and I was like yeah and he took me on a date every single day that week and then at the end of the week he asked me out do anything to make me happy whether it be he says a funny joke to make me smile it just lets me know that I'm loved I'm appreciated I'm heard um so yeah she has the biggest smile in the room always I want to say I said it first so it was definitely Chase so what we used to say was I wolf you uh, we were both too nervous to be saying it too early or too late. And when he actually said it, I was like, you do? And he's like, yeah. And so I said, I love you too. Our first date, um, he invited me out to do a school project with him. We went to the museum and I was so nervous. I wanted to look cute. So my mom actually like curled my hair and I ended up being an hour late. But when I pulled up, I was walking up, I was looking cute. And he was just like, oh, you look beautiful. He's like, is that what took you so long? Like, he joked with me. I just always kind of liked him from the first time I met him, even just as a friend. He was just always really sweet. I just loved his personality. I think it's her acceptance to my wild family, uh, putting up with our crazy traditions. We always decorate for Christmas. So when I learned that she's just down to decorate, okay, you're, you're ready. You're ready for the, the obnoxious decorations of our family. At once, once she started meeting some of the family, I was like, all right, you got to meet all of them to see see if you can fit in because they're wild. And she fit right in and, and could throw the punches right back at him, and it was great. Dear Chase. Dear Reagan, I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle. You are my best friend. I love you with all of my heart, even on our worst days. I can't wait to see your smile light up the room. You have gone above and beyond to make all of my dreams come true. And I can't wait to hear you laugh once you come up the stairs. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so, 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 so much. I really hope you know that. We're going to have such a happy time together. We're going to have so much fun in our adventures. I love you, Chase Matthew Jacobs. And I just can't wait. I'm just so excited. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here as the people of God to witness the marriage of Regan and Chase. We come to share in their joy and to ask God to bless them. Chase, Regan, will you have Chase to be your husband and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? Will you have Regan to be your wife and will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will with the help of God. I will with the help of God. God. I invite you to share your covenant vows before God and those of us gathered. Okay. Woo. You ready? I am. Okay. I'll hold your hand. Hold my hand. I'm so glad I decided to work at Ross while I was in school because I would have never met you <laughs> on campus. Writing each other jokes and burns every day watching you with those stylish glasses with the fake lenses, and, <laughs> and you calling me on the work phone several times a day just to hang up and laugh that I fell for your prank again and again. Thank you.
Thank you for always making me feel beautiful on my worst days. Thank you for appreciating my extraness and letting me be me. <laughs> I, fell in that, I fell in love with that girl faster than I could realize it. Now she stands before me. I look forward to creating new traditions with you and continuing old traditions, like decorating the yard each holiday and making sure everyone else in the neighborhood knows who's the most festive. <laughs> it's gonna be us. Being an interracial couple can be trying at times and it can create uncomfortable situations. But with you, I don't feel scared or worried that we won't work through it. I look forward to traveling the world with you, learning art and history at the different kinds of museums, exploring any of the zoos we can find, and going on spontaneous adventures across the different states and countries. But most importantly, I promise to always love you. Okay. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Reagan, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. I am happy to, oh, you kiss. Would you, would you like to kiss each other? We will do that after. Okay. You want to kiss? I would love to. Okay. You may kiss the bride and the <laughs> Pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Chase and Reagan Jacobs. May the grace of this day carry you forward for all the days of your life. May you find delight in each other and may your love continue to grow and to nurture you throughout your lives. We wish you the strength to be true to the vows you have made here today. May you always have the wisdom to cherish the precious love you share. May the life you share be peaceful and healthy and filled with blessings and joy. Hi, Reagan. Okay, if you guys don't know me, I am Reagan's older sister, Summer. And let me just tell you, to get to this day has been a interesting ride for the past year. Hey brother, hey sister. What a amazing day we're having so far. So this last year, Reagan has helped me raise Ellery, which is actually really funny to see her now. She actually changes diapers. You've always been the absolute best brother. To this day, I will never have anyone like you. And then Chase, thank you for always coming over. Thank you for setting up everything in our apartment for us, because if it wasn't for you, we probably would have Wi-Fi, lights, and uh, TVs put up, we'd probably be watching TV on the floor. Now, Reagan. So I knew you were a part of the family uh, from the very start, but I knew it solidified when I heard about you going on a Disney adventure with my dad alone. You know, and uh, I just, I'm so excited to see y'all's future, and I hope I'm there every step of the way. I promise to always protect your amazing smile, making sure it always is the brightest in the room. I promise to always be lovingly spontaneous. I promise to take you to as many zoos as we can find. I promise to make you laugh even, though, even when life gets you down. I promise to encourage you and follow your dreams. I promise to challenge you and be the best you can be. I promise to match your love, hospitality, and friendship that you give to everyone else in the world. You're truly a blessing to the world, and I promise to love you forever.